Hey Thurl, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and I'm going to show you how I cut your prescription lenses for your Polo 2070 with the help of my GoPro camera. You're going to watch everything so let's go ahead and get started. This is the Polo 2070 color 5247 which is the matte black with the platinum rider. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses that come in here. Put your frame, your Italian frame into my Italian Santinelli LE1000 patternless edger and we're going to get started. It's going to trace the shape of your right lens and then it's going to come over and trace the shape of your left lens. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality, you purchase the frame and you get high quality single vision lenses. So I'm going to pull the shape of your lens up. I'm going to put in your pupillary distance which is 66. I had to get on my tippy toes to measure that you're so tall. I have a polycarbonate lenses for a xyle frame. Let's go ahead and get started. Your prescription is minus 650 minus a quarter at one. Let's turn that to one minus 650 and rotate this in my Marco 101 lensometer until There we go. Let's get the sphere lines right, find the optical center. I'm just very particular since I do my own lab work. I want everything to be perfect. Put a few dots on here, and that is so light I am going to use a pen just to darken that so you can see I'm going to mark that right. And this is just a minus 650 sphere. You have no astigmatism, astigmatism correction in that. And I will mark this one left. Okay. I'm going to put a little double-sided adhesive sticker on here. This is what holds it in place while it is cutting. So I've got to stick this to the lens. So this black side is the sticky side. I'm going to put one side on that. Pull off the other side, the double-sided. Line this up in my crosshairs of my scope. That's good. Let's do the left lens. Pop that on there. There goes the left, and now let's cut the right. So I'm going to hit the start. The first thing that's going to happen is the LMU is going to come down and trace the shape of your frame onto the lens. First it's going to trace the concave side of the lens, and then it's going to trace the convex side. The concave side is closest to your eyelashes, the concave convex side is away from your face. The actual cutting wheel is down here on the left there's three cutting wheels or well one cutting wheel three wheels total the cutting wheel is going to grind away most of the polycarbonate this wheel in the center that has that little channel is what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so that it stays inside the frame it will get a little bit loud here in a moment and i'm going to have to close the door but for now once you see your lens strike the cutting wheel don't worry your lens will not be that thick when i'm done with it it's going to be even thicker no, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you, Thurl. Alright. So, your polo frame, can you see the rider there? Hopefully you can. Comes with this case, the polo Ralph Lauren case, and the polo Ralph Lauren cleaning cloth. In order to clean this, wash this about once a month with dish soap, dove, palm olive, Rinse it out of the kitchen sink and just let it air dry on a dish towel or paper towel. But the, the older it gets, the softer it gets, the better it cleans. And it's good for anything optical grade from camera lenses, computer screens, TV screens, CDs, tablets, cell phones, handhold video games. People use them for everything. One morning I was getting in my truck and my mirror was fogged up so I even used it on that. Now your lenses are the unbreakable bulletproof bulletproof of the 22 caliber and has both UVA and UVB protection the polycarb is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic as well as being much much safer not only are they thinner and lighter these are aspheric lenses meaning they are flatter they don't have that spherical fishbowl effect that most people are going to give you that most people are going to sell you they start with plastic, they make you pay to get the polycarb, which is thinner, 
and then they make you pay to have an aspheric lens which is even a, a better base curve it's a flatter base curve so your things won't look like a fish bowl sitting inside there that's where I start at for free and go up from there and you can check out my disco light that's going off here I don't know what's up with that you think for thirty thousand dollars you get a light that works properly but not this time but that's the only thing messing up on my old machine. I suppose I can live with it. This whole process is going to take about 15 minutes at 719 on Thursday, March 6th. 42 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina. At least according to my Samsung Gear watch. Come on, Case. Come on, Case. Now putting the bevel onto the lens. A little optical sawdust there. A little water cycles just clean away any of that substances that I pulled off there. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and try and get your lens mounted into your frame. Take that out. I'm going to dry this lens off so it's not slippery when I try and work with it. Now one more thing I want to do before I mount it into your frame. I used to have a little bit of rough edges here. I'm going to use my hand stone to put on there what's known as the safety bevel. I'm going to go around, scrape this off. I've worn a V-shaped bevel into my thumbnail from doing this all day. So I wipe that onto the counter and then I wipe it onto the floor. It's my favorite part of cutting glasses. Get to make a mess. Alright, so I'm going to try and mount your lens. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner first and then try and push it down at the nose. It's still a little large so I'm going to take it down just a little bit, about a tenth of a millimeter because you can always cut more off, you can never add it back on. So the right lens takes the longest. Once I get the size down just perfectly, I'll flip it over and cut the left. It's not going to go on the cutting wheel this time. It's just going to go back onto the bevel part of the wheel. And little by little, it's going to take a tenth of a millimeter off of your lens. I do it a little bit of a time. A tenth of a millimeter is one hundredth of a centimeter and one thousandth of a meter. All right, that's your math lesson for the day. And once this is done, I'm going to put a little bit of tint on there for you at your request. i got to try and do all this within 20 minutes so that YouTube doesn't kick my video to the curb for being too long. Any second now it's going to stop and then I'll try and go ahead and get it mounted into your frame. And there we go.
There we go. I'm going to remove this, dry it off again, put a safety bevel on there, scrape that off, and then wipe it back onto the counter. All right, now again, I'm going to start at the outside corner, tuck it in there first, and with my thumbs push down at the nose, and it snaps in perfectly. And if you can see, no edge thickness this time like your last pair. So now I'm going to flip this over now that I have the size right, and cut the left. Although, let me hit stop here for a second. That is your lens. It is thin in the center, thicker at the edge. So just so you know, the larger you go, the thicker your lenses will be. If you can find a frame size that is the same size as your PD, it'll be much, much thinner automatically. So just like before, it's going to come down and trace the shape of your frame onto the lens to make sure it's large enough to cut out. cutting again. And while this is doing that, I'm going to go ahead and keep working. I'm going to take this block off. And go ahead and inspect the lens. We're at 01, minus 650, minus a quarter at 1, minus 650, minus a quarter. And how this works, with your prescription, it reads minus 650, minus a quarter at 1, your left eye is minus 650 sphere. What this means is everything is in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, um, Let me do some math in my head. 6 times 4, 24. You have 26 steps of correction in your right eye. Without your glasses on, everything looks much too large in real life. So when you put your glasses on, it actually shrinks things down by 26 steps. Now, you only have one step of astigmatism correction. And there is a stigma over the word astigmatism. It just means shape. You have the smallest amount. This first box gets everything the correct size. The astigmatism takes away the fuzzy edges. It's like the fine-tune knob. And this just shows us where to turn that knob to make everything clear. Now, your left eye is purely spherical. It has no astigmatism correction. So nothing is fuzzy. It's just the wrong size without your glasses on. And you still need 26 steps. So if this were a ladder, you're on the 26th rung of a ladder. You're up there. You're smart. There's no, there's no getting around it. You are. So, the frame itself is 150. You got a balance of. You put down 80 dollars. You have a balance of 70. Of course, the lenses are free. You got a year's warranty on the frame and a year's warranty on the lenses. Should you ever need to get them replaced. You notice it's still flat around the edges, so now it's going to put the bevel on there so it stays inside the frame. Uh, 
It's bath time. The lens is getting a bath. It needs it too, you know. I, you know, I didn't want to say nothing, but. <laughs> Should be some good weather this weekend if you want to come pick up your glasses. It's going to be in the 60s. You got to get home for that Duke Carolina game, though, the Carolina Duke game. Forgive me, Carolina Duke. They're playing at Duke this time. This is the rubber match. Carolina won the first one in Chapel Hill. Now they're coming to Durham. Duke's looking to avenge the loss, but after losing, getting spanked by Wake Forest last night, they're going to have a, a tough time on their hands. All right, let's open that up. Dry this off so it's not slippery and I don't drop it. Put the safety bevel back on there. Use my thumbnail, run that around. Come on you, there we go. Get all that off and then try and mount it into the frame. So I tuck it in at the outside corner closest to me. Using my thumbs, I push down at the nose. And it actually needs a little bit more to come off, so I'm going to do another tenth of a millimeter. Put that in there and hit retouch. And hopefully I've got just enough time. I forget what time it was when we got started. But I still have to be able to put the tint on here, and I want you to see me do that. So come on, speed up, speed up. Speed up. I think this can go a little bit faster for $30,000. Little by little, I'm going to take a tenth of a millimeter off. I know this is not very exciting, I apologize, but you know, if you had paid twice as much for these glasses, it would be a little bit more exciting, don't you think? So next time, let me get you the Versace's. Speaking of which, speaking of which, I'm going to take it on back to you. Versace has just released the Biggie Smalls collection on a limited edition. I'm going to take it back to you, taking it back to Brooklyn. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. This sells for $260, people, because it's limited edition, people are already selling this on eBay for $450, because it's going to be a collector's item. I'm going to slip that back on there. It's bad. It's bad to the bone. Biggie wasn't going to wear anything but that. I'm going to save that for a little bit longer. All right, let me dry this off. Put the safety bevel back on there. Scrape that off and let's try and get this mounted again. So tuck it in at the outside corner and with my thumbs push down at the nose and now it snaps in fine. I am going to deblock this. Try that off some and using your card, this should measure 66 millimeters. When I place that there, hopefully my GoPro camera is good enough that you can see 66. So let me clean this off. Pop your lenses out real quick. Do I have a white paper towel down there? I'll get another one. Get this ready for tinting. I need to clean your lenses up where they are perfect. And then I'm going to apply the tint. I did not have to check the power of the left lens because it is spherical. There's no way I could miscut that. There is no astigmatism correction. It cannot be off. That is why I did not check the power. I did that first time around. Okay. I believe I can clean these a little better. 
Julia. No, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding with you, Thor. I'm just kidding with you. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. Now, this tank essentially is a big crock pot with nine compartments. The gray is back here, brown, violet, blue, yellow, rose, blue blocker, bleach, UV protection. And I'm just going to quickly dip this into the hot dye. It's about 170 degrees in here. I'm going to do just the top of your lenses, just like your car windshield where it's dark at the top and then light at the bottom. And leave the bottom clear. I'm going to rinse that off. Put it on the paper towel. And hopefully you can see where it's dark at the top and then fades to clear. I'm going to do just a little bit more. Come on, get back in there. Get back in there. It doesn't want to take a bath this time. Do this a little bit more. Just the top of the lens this time. Rinse that off and then we're going to get this mounted into your frame. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Let me dry everything.